Hey everyone, so today I just wanted to go a little bit deeper into Get a Cake's Forest ambient sound effects and show you how I built the dynamic system in FMOD. So let's go! So here in FMOD, the first thing I did was to separate the sounds into two main sections. Uh, so here the, the tracks in blue are the daytime sounds and the tracks in pink are the nighttime sounds. They all play, fade in and out according to the to the time of the day parameter here. Um, and they all consist of a main ambience bed. So here's the daytime bed and the nighttime bed. Uh, and also uh, some random sounds that will play uh, throughout the, the, the time of, times of the day. So birds, insects, monkeys, frogs, night birds, owls and crickets all playing randomly. I wanted this forest to feel vibrant, dynamic and full of wildlife so that's why I used scattered instruments for those random uh, animal sounds. Uh, they they are really nice for ambience because they they help me randomize the volume, pitch, and also the interval in which they play. Um, and for this case here, inside the, the scattered instruments, there are uh, nested events containing the sounds. Uh, so in this case, the the daytime insects. Uh, I have five different insect sounds down here. Uh, and the reason I did this nested events within the scatter is to randomize the panning. So if you see here, the panning is, is randomized. So each time the scatter instrument triggers a sound, it will also randomize the position of the sound in the stereo field, giving much more depth to the, to the forest as a whole. There is also two short periods between night and day. These are dusk and dawn and these are transitional periods. So I wanted to blend both daytime sounds and nighttime sounds uh, on those two shorter periods. So you might hear some crickets and owls coming in at dusk while the monkeys slowly start to fade out, for example. This gives a more natural feel to the ambience as a whole. and. I also wanted to stress even more uh, the transitional nature of this this period. So there's a wolf that howls uh, during dusk, and there are some songbirds that sing uh, during dawn. So when you go from day to dusk. And same thing happens when you go from night to dawn. So for the logic behind all of this, uh, there's the time of the day parameter. Uh, with zero being day, one being dusk, two being night, and three being dawn. Uh, I have volume automation uh, matching this behavior. Uh, so you can see here that the daytime birds play during the day. They uh, are a little bit quieter doing, during dusk. Uh, they don't play at all during night. And then they come a little bit back up uh, during dawn. Um, for the main uh, ambience beds, uh, the daytime bed and the nighttime bed, I also uh, used attack and release modulation and that paired with uh, some parameter uh, trigger conditions ensure that the, there are no hard cuts between uh, these, these periods of time. Uh, so it's a little bit smoother when you transition from dawn to day, for example. So let's say you start the game and it is daytime. Uh, sounds will loop until it's time to go to dusk. Uh, then time of the day changes to one and you will hear the wolves.
After a few minutes we'll go to night. And then it loops until we go to dawn. And then after a few minutes we go back to day. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to reach out if you have any questions or any ideas on how to improve the system. I'm always down to talk about game development and game audio in general. Ciao!